and today we are going to take a look on how we can improve Windows 10 or Windows 11 experience using Win Pilot, which is a tool that I love and I believe that you are going to love as well. It will allow us to clean up Windows, to install a few apps, and it will even give us tips on how to use Windows and it will take us directly there when I don't remember the shortcut for this or that. It will allow me to do that and I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this tool. Now I'm on the Asus Tough Gaming A16 from 2024. Review down below. I just finished the review of this awesome laptop. It comes with Windows 11 activated but if you haven't activated your Windows 10 or 11 don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find the budget official OM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below in the video description it will get a bit cheaper so just in case the link will be down below now you will not need links for win pilot but let's go to chrome right over here you just need to search for win pilot if you ever heard of bloaty noisy then you know that this is the improved version with ai capabilities now we just need to go to the releases and then download the latest release at the moment of the recording 3.3 but you can choose uh, older releases and you can even if you never tried bloaty noisy uh, to go to an early version right this one right over here or this one right over here and test it out because it has been a great tool and we have shared a few tips right over here this is the first time that we are using the new generation win pilot now we just need to go right over here and download to our computer and then unzip it, which I already have on my desktop, and then open up this uh, executable right over here. And that is it, we have WinPilot working. Now let's put it in full screen. We've got a few tools right over here that I'm going to share with you briefly, but there is one tip that I love, which is besides what we see right over here, because it's using AI, it will give us a few tweaks, change desktop wallpaper. If I want to press, it will just give me the option to go to my camera roll or desktop or wherever I want and select the desktop wallpaper. Easy as this. So I don't need to know that, okay, to change, I need to go to my desktop. This is one of the ways. Personalize and then go to themes and then select right over here and then go to the desktop. Uh, it's boring. So with WinPilot, it's a lot funnier. So there are a few tips here, but let's select here and press a for example it will give me tips with the letter a so if i want to i don't know check for windows updates or restore backups or create a restore point i press and it will say okay create the restore point I don't know. your system is now on the safe side restore point created easy as this and a lot more you can try for yourself if i press b will give me tips with B if I press C and you get the point. So this is one of the ways that I love using Win Pilot. Now let's look right over here. The first option is Code Tweaker and have in mind that some of the changes that I already did because I was recording a video in Portuguese using the Asus Tough Gaming A16. So right now if I detect my current settings I already have some things that I did enabled and disabled. So let apps show me personalized ads. I don't want that. But if I wanted to activate, I just need to do this. And now if I go to detect, it will show me that it's on. And if I turn it off, it will show me that it's off, which is just awesome. So you can select whatever you want here to improve. And it's uh, self-explanatory. You will have the instructions right over here and you will be able with just one click, disable this or disable that. Things that sometimes we choose while we are installing Windows. So this code tweaker step is great and you can explore yourself. Now let's go to the Crapify, which is probably my favorite right over here. I can just remove all these apps, which are non-essential, but I do prefer to check out what we have right over here. And probably if I want to remove Microsoft Teams because I don't use that or this gets started or Dev Home or whatever we have right over here, I can just select speed test. No, because I was the one installing speed test. I want to keep it, but uh, what's up communications in Windows immersive control, whatever things that are running on the background and just wasting resources of my computer. Of course, this computer is capable of that, but there's no need for some of the things right over here. So I can just remove select it, and it will start removing the apps. And if you uh, look right over here, 
it will say okay successfully remove this and they will disappear from the screen it did fail to remove one windows immersive control panel because probably it's being used I'm not really sure and then there's also one optional feature which is the ai driven search for crapware optional at this moment is completely clean just because i did remove on my push keys channel while i was recording the video but what i'm going to do is just put here a b-roll of the previous recorded video that i did and you will see that it did find about six or seven apps and it did remove them like spotify and whatnot so we can decrapify our system in this really easy way and then we have winget ui now this is useful but i would say that probably is not that essential like the two before that we have seen this will allow us to install apps and i just need to go to for example if i want to install google chrome which i think i already have yes i do uh, and install selected or if i wanted to install i don't know vlc media player and vivaldi and 7zip but just go here install selected and that is it but of course if you have microsoft edge like i do i didn't remove it i can just go to um, whatever i want and then download install like i did with chrome so i do believe that this is not essential although it is a great tool if you clean all your system and then you see yourself without microsoft edge and you went to install chrome for example or mozilla mozilla actually you have on the windows store unless you remove your windows store as well which is possible now copilotless is the option to go and activate or deactivate if you have the copilot function on microsoft edge as it says right over here or also if we are using copilot on our task bar which at this moment on this particular installation i'm not if you want to check out how to enable copilot if you are in a region that it's not available yet link down below for how to activate copilot and then there is also the clippy supreme which is basically tips that clippy which is this fellow right over here will go and say okay control plus c it's copied but this is probably an easy one and then i can press right over here it will give me another tip. every time i click here it will give me basically the tips that i can use now there's also a button here which is copilot if you like to use copilot like i do honestly i do I can press switch to copilot and it will give me a copilot experience in case you haven't installed well not installed but activated copilot on your windows so instead of using on microsoft edge i can use right over here so if i want i can say uh, give me 10 ideas for youtube videos because i have lack of imagination or whatever and it will start on giving me ideas and whatnot right over here we can also create images like we did before on some videos we just need to sign in with our microsoft account which at this moment i don't have and of course we have all the options right over here for copilot and if you have seen copilot then you know how it works this is also a great way not only to disable copilot at all if we don't want but a tool to use copilot in a different way besides the microsoft edge way so have that in mind as well and basically this is it these are the main tips that i wanted to share with you probably this one is one of the most interesting for me at least it is i can just select one shortcut and boom there i go and then co tweaker and decrapify which are my favorite and it will help us to have a cleaner system with just a few clicks without having to have a great knowledge about computers or whatever that being said hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one